judge denies Muslims $100 million Little Caesars lawsuit, as CEO slaps him with two-word bombshell. Just before Anadon, a man decided to sue Little Caesars Pizza for $100 million after he ordered whole pepperoni but received regular pork pepperoni instead. Recently, the plaintiff was outraged when the judge dropped his lawsuit, but nothing could prepare him for the restaurant CEO's next two words. As the Muslim population grows in the West, so do their incessant demands. As the tiny minority, they begin by suing for minor sharia accommodations such as footbiths, prayer rooms, and hull options. Of course, each fulfilled requirement only leads to further demands as many business owners discover. If these ultimatums aren't met, threats, accusations of discrimination, and legal action are sure to follow. Fortunately, one judge recognized just how ridiculous a lawsuit of this kind is and has not only dropped the case but will allow the defense to become the offense. The Detroit Free Press reports that after Dearborn resident Mohammed Batsi demanded $100 million from Little Caesars Pizza for serving him non whole pepperoni, a Michigan judge not only tossed his outrageously offensive claim on September 21 but has agreed to hear a counter-lawsuit filed by Little Caesars against Patsy for frivolous actions. According to an email sent by Michael Huguet, an attorney representing the pizza company, Wayne County Circuit Court Judge Susan Hubbard has granted the chain a dismissal and will now hear their counterclaim to protect the company against future frivolous lawsuits. In short, the restaurant is taking measures to protect itself from being sued by any Muslims who plan to target them for whole mistakes. Little Caesars is extremely pleased with the court's complete dismissal of this meritless claim, the company said in the statement. Additionally, Little Caesars' Dearborn location recently removed signs suggesting it sells whole pepperoni and informed inquisitive customers that they are no longer selling the Islamic option, USA Today reports. Batsy and his attorney, Majd Malfni, were disheartened at the news of their lawsuit being dismissed. Batsy will not only leave the court empty-handed but could be forced to pay the company's court costs if the Little Caesars requests such an action from the judge. So far, they have made no such motion, although it is not uncommon in similar lawsuits. Batsy maintains that he was deliberately served pork and that the company is guilty of negligence. He plans to file an appeal, alleging that Judge Hubbard made a judicial error by not allowing the complaint to be amended a third time after they repeatedly failed to prove that there was a cause of action. It's really upsetting, Malfney said. My clients want the public to know. Especially during Ramadan, it would be a travesty if Muslims, in Dearborn bought pizza from Little Caesars and discovered they were eating pork. He added that for a Muslim. Consuming pork is one of the worst sins you can do. Suspiciously, Mofni is spearheading another identical lawsuit against the company, representing a man with the same surname as his previous client. The case was filed by plaintiffs Ali Batsi and Michelle Mead, who also claim to have been served pork after ordering pepperoni. On September 22, one day after the initial case was dismissed, Judge Hubbard strangely denied Little Caesar's motion for a summary disposition, meaning that she will allow the plaintiffs to present their case. The victory is that if conceded that they've been defrauding the community for a number of years, that they've removed the whole sign, and they removed the pepperoni from their stores, Moffney said. Our next step is to uncover the truth, and the truth is, they've been negligent and reckless. Disturbingly, Mofni uses loaded words when describing the case, calling Muslims eating pork a travesty. By doing so, he not only attempts to inflate his case but trivializes actual travesties, like Muslims bombing, beheading, raping, and enslaving non-Muslims. He also says that pork consumption is one of the worst sins in Islam. In actuality, this is true but not in the way he describes. Mofni cleverly omits the fact that it is only a sin to Muslims if they knowingly eat pork when there are hill options available. In fact, the Quran states that anyone who consumes it either unintentionally or because they were forced is without blame. The Quran allows Muslims to consume pork if it is their only option for sustenance or if they accidentally eat it or if they are tricked or forced into eating it. In these lawsuits, 
all Muslims involved accidentally ate pork, yet they are lying to make it seem as though the company has caused them to commit a terrible sin against their religion. This tactic has been used countless times in the courtrooms where ignorant judges and jurors are fed Islamic lies to make Muslims seem like victims when they really aren't. Judicial jihad is just one of the ways a Muslim minority can overtake a Western nation, using their own laws and justice system against them. It is nothing less than an attempt to get the courts to recognize, adhere to, and enforce Sharia law.